I try. So I had to tap into this. The Crusader King, St. Louis. Once, um, once I was told that this is where the name St. Louis came from. Now, that's one city that I actually haven't been to out here in the United States. But um, definitely a city that I've actually had a close friend from there that, that, that moved to New York. So uh, we're going to hop into it, though. You know, we're smoking all my dragons, divine, righteous, almighty, greats, overachieving, never slacking. Right here it says, he seemed taller than all his men, higher from his shoulders and upward than any of them. A golden great helm on his head, a sword of Germany in his hand. There never was seen such a beautiful knight. Okay, you got my attention. Let's do it. Original link in the description if I didn't say that already. Here we go. Let me make the screen bigger for y'all. Okay, so now I see where that style with those cathedrals come from. Shout out to the French.
these wars was on and cracking. Like, seriously, on and cracking. They was just, you know, when you, I always say, when you hear about it, it's nothing compared to how it really was, you know? Because you imagine the, the, when you, the, just the brutality of people invading places and, So he on the continent of Africa now. He about to go south? I mean, that's crazy though. Like, this is what gets me though. Like, I always hear about a lot of Europeans when they would go, they they weren't able to go to the continent of Africa at all due to malaria. I guess maybe it was a certain, you know, point where he couldn't go further. Well, let me see how far he went. You had to have some heart going all the way over there like that. <laughs> just crossing into in the, in the enemy's territory, um, that's always such a risk, always. Whew. It says they rushed in, who, and it's El Mansura, whose gates were purposely let open, sound like a trap to me. They were there. <clears throat> then they were trapped in the narrow by streets and slaughtered to the last one by the Mamluk garrison. Of See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it just sound like a trap. You know, you don't just rush in, the, in, in an enemy territory like that. No, no, no. They got something waiting for you. and cut to pieces their enemy. Dang. Uh-uh-uh. Like I said, man, brutal. Brutality. It's like, when you really look at that, and then you look at people today, right? Like, like let's, be, let's be real for a second. You look at people today who, like, you'll hear about stories of people who, like, are what we call, like, gangsters in the street. And you'll hear certain stories about people chopping people up. I mean, it just makes you it makes you wonder, like, you know, in a in a past life, or is there some type of bloodline where they come from these type of people and they carry that energy? Some psycho. I mean, that that would be perceived as psychopath psychopath stuff. But I guess when you're doing it for your country, you know, it's righteous. I don't know, you know, like. <laughs> Some people like that, though, where you see how I said he greater on his own. I ain't going to keep stopping it after this, but I just want to make, you know, it says um, every time in the thick of combat, ceaselessly harrowing his men, Lewis was greater on his own in the, than the battle. Some people get in that zone.
He died on August 25th. Just to let y'all know, right now is August 25th. I'll be dropping this August 26th. But what were the odds of that? What were the odds? What were the odds of that? I'm still in shock that that today's August 25th. <laughs> Just the odds of that are crazy. But um, wow, look at that statue that popped up. The future of your looking at his his physique, right? The man looked like he could have won an Olympic medal swimming or something. I mean, he I can only imagine compared to his peers how he was perceived, like, in, you know, just face-to-face. -face. Um, hearing stories of those wars and just uh, brutal, brutal people getting cut up. And, uh, I mean, it's nothing like today, right, where today people just got their guns and their explosives. Back then, you really had to have that gear on, which makes it more impressive with... Um, Joan the Ark, it makes it more impressive for a woman, you know, have all that gear and I mean, think about the the the, the uh the stamina, you know, the in, the endurance, just the strength that you gotta have, you know, the like sword swinging. I mean, you gotta be in shape. You gotta use every single one of your muscles. You gotta get in there. You gotta be smart. And then it's like. You rush into a trap like those guys did. You never know what can happen to you. I mean, remember in Game of Thrones, for those that watched that, when people would try to climb up the castle and then they would take like that hot lava stuff and dump it over. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It was some brutal times. So anybody who was going to war for their, their country, their tribe, I mean, you definitely became like a superhero to your people. Um especially them knowing what you what you what you what you, what you had to endure, what you had to face. Woo man. So um that yeah that was I'm very curious as far as the French, uh how they got that style of just that whole fancy you know, I, I'm curious, like, where, where that came from. I'm going to look more into that. Some, um, Yeah. First, first or doublet, send me something. Suggest me something to, to find out, you know, as far as the style of the French. Like, what's the history behind that? Because they are some fancy people. But, um, yeah, with that being said. Oh, yeah, uh, first doublet. I remember it was like a week ago you had said something about the arrows or something in my thumbnails. Um. Yeah, it's, I, I don't mean no offense to anybody with the arrows in my thumbnails. It's just, you know, it points it out, you know. Um, no no, no, no offense to anybody. I don't, I don't mean no harm. It just it helps out in the algorithm with people that 
from other places they see, you know, when they see it, it just points it out. You know, it's just certain things with the algorithm that really just that just help, you know, when you when you're making these thumbnails. So I, I like to get creative and just have fun, but I don't mean any harm, you know, when I when I put my arrows or when I do when I do uh certain things, guys. I definitely come with, with all respect and humbleness. But uh with that being said, I appreciate you guys and um hopefully it was easy easy to read along. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back with more soon. Original link in the description. And this meditation right here looks pretty cool. I'm going to have to check it out.